This has to do with Governor Romney appointing on Friday uh, Richard Grinnell uh, to be his spokesman on national security and foreign policy. Now, Richard Grinnell is an out, loud, and proud homosexual. And he is now the face of the Romney campaign on national security and foreign policy. Now, he has for years, as I mentioned, he has been an outspoken advocate for homosexual marriage. In fact, he launched a campaign, a very public campaign, for same-sex marriage in the state of New York and complained about the fact that he and his longstanding partner could not get married in New York. Well, now they can. The article I've got goes back a couple of years before the Empire State legalized gay marriage, so now he can get married there, and I don't know if he has. Remember, what gays want is they don't want the rights. They want the title. They don't actually care about getting married. When you get these states that have same-sex marriage, precious few homosexuals actually go and tie the knot. Why? Because they are not about commitment. Homosexuals are about short-lived relationships and frequent anonymous sexual encounters. This is is very common in the homosexual community. Now, whether Grinnell indulges in that or not, I don't know. Uh, He's in this uh, long-standing relationship, but I've had those that have come out of the gay community tell me personally Look, when, when I was in the gay community, was I on that lifestyle, um, uh, I had a partner, and we told everybody we were monogamous, but we had a deal that we could fool around on the side all we wanted to. That was just an understanding that we had. And he said that is very, very common in the gay community. There are some homosexuals that will admit. I mean, this is not, this is not coming from the right wing. This is homosexuals themselves admitting surveys that they have had 500 to as many as 1,000 sexual partners over the course of a lifetime. You know, it's, and there's constant stories about raiding gay bathhouses and, the, so, so, and gays having sex in public parks and in public restrooms. I mean, this is, this is endemic in the homosexual community, these random, frequent, and anonymous sexual encounters. And that becomes a significant issue when we're talking about appointing somebody to a post as sensitive as a spokesman for national security and foreign policy.